Hey, welcome to another episode of Shipbox Garage. We have my heads for my 454 big block I'm using the stock heads for now. However, I am upgrading the springs and the camshaft and everything to roller cams. So I need stiffer springs. Stiffer springs are dual spring, and dual spring will not fit the stock valve stem seals. Is the oh. Hey, don't drop your keepers. Good thing I have new ones. <laughs> anyway, these are going to be my new valve sim seals. However, those do not fit right onto the valve guides. What we have to do is actually cut the valve guides down in diameter and a little bit off the height. We do that with this comp cams tool. If the camera will focus, there we go. So is the cutter and the arbor. They are sold separately. Uh, some manufacturers sell them together. Comp might even have a kit. I bought them individually. I uh, already did the first head, cutting the valve guides. I'm going to take them to work and clean the heads up, get all the shavings and everything taken care of. But I figured I would do, I'll probably just do two, keep it a relatively short video, just kind of show the process and how actually pretty easy this is. And the uh, this cutter works real good. Good fit of the new seals on the stem or on the guides and then they also fit the stems pretty uh the actual valve stems pretty well as well so without further ado i'm going to mute my mic so i don't blare you guys out with uh drill noises and just kind of show the cutting process i do oil the guide as i'm cutting as well One other thing, I also put some assembly lube in the actual guide to help lubricate the arbor, and it will get some lubrication as well from my oil that I'm going to be uh, pumping on there. All right, just wanted to come in here while the, there's no audio in the video and give a little voiceover explain what's going on. I am cutting these pretty slow just to try to keep my tool from getting clogged up and keep the blades fresh along with oiling it uh, repeatedly throughout the entire process. The drill handled this just fine. It didn't bog down at all. This drill has good trigger control as well as far as slow to fast gradient with how uh, far you pull the trigger and that's all I'm doing it's just taking my time on this making sure I'm not putting too much torque uh, against the actual guide trying to make sure I'm keeping it nice and straight so I don't wear out my guides and just rechecking everything keeping an eye on everything being real careful about it again just to make sure I'm not wearing out the guides wearing out the tool anything like that because last thing I want to do is screw up my guide and have to actually go through the process of either taking it to a machine shop to get a new guide or figuring out how to reinstall my own guides. And that's about it for right now. Okay, and there's one cut. You can see it only takes a few seconds, maybe a minute. I do cut pretty slow just to. Be careful and cautious and oil it repeatedly to keep the bits nice and cool because it is a tool about 100 oh if i remember right a little over 150 bucks i'll try to find the links and put them in the description but not too much but it is a tool you don't want to burn it up first time you use it obviously never know when you'll have to do this again let me grab the camera here All right, unfortunately I hit the damn power button when I grabbed it, but you cut and once you start cutting, it'll be a square cut. There's a chamfer bit on the cutter and you start, you just keep cutting until you see that chamfer form and it replicates the stock chamfer. Obviously a little thinner because it is cutting it thinner. But not bad, easy, pretty easy job. I know some people might just go to the machine shop and have them do it, but definitely a way to save a buck and still get your uh, stiffer springs put on. All in all, 
Not bad. Do it yourself. Save some money. About it for this episode of Shitbox Garage. And here's what the old shitbox is looking like right now. Oh, she's rough. But she's going to get some power. <laughs>